Hey, I want to tell you about a really special fly on the wall video that is available now at Totally Guitars as part of the Target program. These, of course, are, shot, are videos that I shoot right here in my studio with, with students, and many of my students have become to be pretty well known among our, our Totally Guitars members because I shoot a lot of videos with them. Well, every once in a while, a uh, a TG member from some some other part of the country makes a trip here to Northern California and comes in and we work on something. So this happened recently with Tom Varga uh, who lives on the East Coast in Massachusetts and he came by, he'd been working, Tom always works on the difficult songs. So Matt, lately he's been working on... Mood for a Day, Steve Howe. And uh, when he works on a song, he typically works on like only it. Everything else gets pushed to the side, which is something we talk about in the lesson. So anyway, uh, and many of you would, would know him because he's uploaded a lot of videos to the site of his works in progress, ranging from generally the typical, you know, kind of complicated instrumental pieces are the pieces that really attract him uh, uh, to work on. So in this video, he was here for about an hour. I split it up into four parts, and because just to make it a little bit more manageable, but we talked about all kinds of techniques that are really important in mood for a day. Learning to play with your thumb and your index finger on little runs, and uh, learning to do a little little roll, kind of a little flamenco thing. That uh, although he had that in pretty good shape, but the biggest well, there are a lot of things. One was ha holding, hanging on to bass notes. Not having it sound like this. Also, making sure that certain melody notes get cut off and don't ring over each other, creating clashes. So, covered a lot of different things, tons of techniques, and especially uh, legato techniques, ways to make this run not sound like that, but to make it sound like this. So that was a lot of what was covered in the lesson, too. Here are a couple of little excerpts from it, but um, uh, again, this is available for our Target members at Totally Guitars, and there have to be maybe close to 100 Fly on the Wall videos up there now, and every one of them addresses issues that uh, you can carry over into songs you're working on. But it was a pleasure for me to have uh, Tom Varga here working on Mood for a Day, and uh, take a look at some of this, and if you like this kind of stuff, really consider joining us at the Target program at Totally Guitars. Oh, how do we do this? So well, play it once now. Okay. This is your test. No, I mean, just... just right. do, well, no, the pressure on That's the biggest thing, is, is just try to... One thing I tell my students, you may have heard me say this, I, you know, I'm not sure where this is, if that's ever come out across online, but um, is don't always try, don't ever think that you're, you're trying to play it play something perfectly or the, the best you've ever done. You know, when you play it the best you ever have, it's going to surprise you. You know, when, I mean, you're always going to be surprised when that happens. And I've had a student say that to me one time when, when he played, he was working on something and, and this is somebody I've been with for a long time and he, uh, he played through something I was just, I was like stunned right. and, and didn't really say anything as he was, as he was playing it and he finished it and he looked up at me and he goes, and I didn't even say anything, he goes, I've never played it that well before. Mm. I said, yeah, I know, that was pretty, you know, it's like, uh, and I said, you know what, I've, I, I could count on one hand <clears throat> how many times somebody's ever said that, to, you know, in a, in a lesson, mm. that they, you know, stumbled into the best performance ever, um, and, uh, but, because it, it, it's usually, they were trying for that, you know, and wanted to get it perfect, and, and, you know, you've probably played every part in this song pretty well, Oh, at one, one point or another, absolutely. And string them, and absolutely. but then yeah. you're, you know, then in your head you think, oh, I'm now I just could put all those together, and 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 as soon as that's in your head, it's never going to happen. Happens, you know, yeah. and that's where um, slowing it down a little bit. I know you don't play slow enough, enough. Very I mean, true. And but and then um, slowing it down a little bit, but also shooting for an 85 percent performance of it, not the 110 percent. Mm. You know, because it's not going to happen. You know, and if you think. Get settle for eighty or eighty or ninety um, is, and one thing when I'm, you know, trying to help somebody through a song or something, um, it's I'm, I'm more looking for things that you're doing wrong, not mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, things things that Technique. oh, you know what, you're making this harder than you have to yeah. because well, of that's this. why I'm here, I think. Right, sorry, sorry. and so it's not you know I don't care if you don't get the right notes or mm -hmm. something, and and you know if you've seen some of the fly on the walls, I'll tell people when they're working on strumming sometimes or something. Well, I don't even mm -hmm. care about the chords. You know, if if you if the technique was right, mm -hmm. every the, the the mechanics are easy to fix, but the techniques are not, mm -hmm. I and mean, that's what you have to concentrate on or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if mechanics is the right term there, but the kind of like the, the specifics, getting the right note is not 
the issue often. Now, sometimes it is in a really fast run, like some of the ones that happen in this song. That's that can be the case, mm. you know, and that's why you play that run like we talked about the other day. Just you know, slow and make sure walk your fingers through it for the muscle memory side of it um, a bunch of times, and don't just um, don't just keep doing it fast over and over and over until you get it until it clicks one time and then say oh great I got it now I can go on mm. wait you just played it wrong 15 times and then played it right once you need to play it right 15 times and then go on to something you know go mm. on to the next part and because um, yeah at that point your percentage you know you're down to a, a very slow small percentage you know six percent of the time I get it but oh that's not gonna work you know mm. so um, so as painful as this might be play it right now at about Two thirds of the speed you would normally play it, okay. and and just be really relaxed about it. I mean, mm -hmm. don't don't worry about um, this. Could make you because you have it memorized, and you probably don't look at it anymore anyway. I think very right. often, do you? Um, sometimes when you try to play it slow like that, you can you you might get totally lost. You know, you'll you'll play a couple chords and think, what happens I, next? I know that. <laughs> and and <laughs> that's it's it's actually kind of dangerous having a song be that. Um, subconscious, you know, mm -hmm. it's like you need to keep it more conscious. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, one of the a real test of whether you really know a song or not would be: could you play it with a metronome at half speed, and 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 still have it? It's not necessarily going to come out very musical, and that's going to be that's going to already take out some of your your recognition points and, and muscle memory. Part. Yeah, yeah. Right. and and um, <clears throat> you know if you. In many of my old videos, I haven't done this much lately, but I do very slow playthroughs with a metronome of, of some things on there. And for many of those, I have to be looking at the music for that to happen because mm. it's so non-musical. Now, it's, it, you know, not always, but, but part of it is I've practiced doing that for like a lot of my life. So it's like... Uh... Yeah, it's definitely a weird move. Now on that part, um, let me see if there's anything else I want to do. You, you have it two different ways you play it. This is the only one that works for me. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, and, and that, that's fine. Okay. But, yeah, so, um, oh, you know, and, and I, I, so I, a lot of times I'll play that E up here. I noticed that. Does you know, it make it much of a difference? I, it's less for me to do, so I play it this way. Do it once with the old one here again, just that part. Twice. Yeah, okay. Um, before we get to that part, okay. there's something, both this and this one, um, you're actually playing them faster than you need to. And, and that makes them not very well defined. Like, um, like see, that, was just, that, was, that wasn't clean enough. Yeah. Got to hear every one of those notes. And... When you first work on a move like that, mm -hmm. it's it might feel like you can't do it fast enough, and and so you have that in your head, and pretty soon it's going too fast, and 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 it. I think what I was always worried about is that the final pull off gets really loud. Yeah. And I'm so I'm focusing on trying not to do that, and, and I guess I give up on or not do a good enough job on the. On Just the before part. it is what. Too, one more time. Too fast. One more time. Still too fast. There. Take your time. Mm. Breathe while you do that. Mm. You know. Yeah. Now that was pretty fast, but that was still that was a distinct defined. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So it 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 just can't be a blur. Mm. That was now. See, that was fast, and that was still well defined. Okay. Yeah. So I like that, and and then this one is even even harder. The, I don't think I have that one very well done yet. <laughs> Boy. So, something else I was going to get to, back, even, even back to here, that, is, that will help here, mm -hmm. is um, try to have your fingers a little bit more rounded, a little more mm. spit. Yeah. I know that you do that, and it just, I need to, I was doing that because I'm messy where I'm placing it. Yeah. I just have to work, work at it more, right? Yeah. Just, uh, and even that, even that opening run again can be more... Um, can you have your thumb... Yeah, like sometimes when you when you hug it, I feel like I have more control where I'm placing it, but then it's messy. Right, right. right. So. Yeah, because then, then you can't get you can't get this this good angle like that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and and then I know your fingers are always very vertical. Most of the time, yeah. yeah. I mean, there there are times. 
I also find that I play it best if I have my thumb up pretty high on the neck so I don't have to move it. Yeah. Is that, that's, that's, is, that's really, is that a yeah. good idea? I mean, and that, but I have to think about doing that. So. You know, like, so you just came from this, this bar, th right. this at the second fret. And so your thumb is right about here. It's in the wrong place. It's, right. You do have to get it down to, to, I mean, yeah. But bring it straight down then. Yeah. Yeah. 